So where are you in Sh from Sheepshead Bay? My family's from Sheepshead Bay. I live in Cobble Hill, which is just over the Brooklyn Bridge. And if my grandparents, who fled Brooklyn, knew that I was back there and what I paid to live there, they'd be rolling well, in their crazy? graves. Is it crazy? Well, Cra I hear that Williamsburg is really crazy, too. Are we on? We're on. We're, this we're good, always this on. This is good. Yeah, this, I mean, this, this, this is good is stuff. Good. You know, I haven't been back to where I to where I was uh, raised since it, it exploded. Why? And, uh, I don't know. I haven't been in New York enough to be out, but I should. Well, we should do a project, like a, a video project of your return home. I think that's a good idea. Let's get I, in a car. Let's go to all the old places. Can, can you imagine the look on people's faces when you walk in? <laughs> just get out of nowhere and say, I used what to have pizza here. What if I met here? somebody that I, that I grew up with and they're still there? And they're still there. <laughs> well, New York. Well, New that's York. why. Well, that's why this album meant so much to me, you know, because I went back in my memories yes. uh, to write the original songs on this album. It, it's family. It's all about family. I was raised by great people. My grandmother and grandfather and my mother. You know, two immigrants and Edna, my mother. And, that sounds like a joke. Yeah, two, two immigrants, immigrants and Edna, and walk, Edna into walk into a bar. walk into a bar, right. And they had great senses of humor. They, had, they were decent people. And most of all, when you're raised in New York, you inherit a built-in b detector. Yes. You can't be phony to a New Yorker. And you couldn't be phony to this family, all these people. They would just look at you and say, what are you, what are you doing? Right. So that served me very well when I got into the show business. You know, how many people that you've heard have come out of Brooklyn Streisand and Mel Brooks and Neil Diamond. I sometimes think, well, because we wanted to get out of Brooklyn yeah. real bad. But really, we all, we all came out of Brooklyn like we were shot out of a cannon. We were ready to go. What do you miss about this town? About New York? Mm -hmm. The energy. There's nothing like it. It's magic. Right. You know, Copacabana was, is a story song. Yes. Hey, you know, and uh, nobody thought that was going to be a hit because, ha. yeah, ha. right. The record company didn't think it was going to be a hit. Even Bruce and I didn't think it was going to be a hit. You just threw it on the there? novelty song on that album, and there were other songs on the album that felt like it would fit on the radio better. But Culpa, you know, I, I don't know if anybody realizes this. It's so difficult to write a full story in three verses and one repetitive chorus over and over. And you know about Tony and Lola and Rico and what the... And this is a very complicated thing to do, and yet it feels effortless. It's feeling. Because you can write lyrics that are very smart and clever, but unless they make you feel something, then it'll be forgotten. Well, and you have moved untold millions of people, right? I mean, you, you must, when you go out and you meet your fans, it, it must be so gratifying. It is. They say the most beautiful things. You should go down the street with me. It's just, oh, ooh, I could cry so hard. It's, I mean, it's overwhelming the impact that, that this, my career has had on total strangers. People look at you or look at other beloved famous people and think, I want that. I want that spotlight. Fame must be great. Is there anything about fame that's less than great? <laughs> well, I get nervous for the young people who are becoming famous because when it hit me, it nearly knocked me over. And I was like 29 when Mandy became number, a number one record, so I was, you know, an adult. You know, I think I wasn't me, and I know it was all fear. I knew I was a good musician. It's just that I found myself in a world of being performing and you know, on the cover of Teen Beat magazine. Don't you think everybody feels like they're an imposter sooner or later? Uh, yeah. Every day I come to work, I think they are going to find me out right. today. Today yeah, is going to be fraud. the day. Yeah. You're a fraud. I you're not. Like, no. By the way. Thank you. You're not. Thank you. I, I, get, I get it. You're <laughs> not. But uh, for me, it was, I had to go back to the beginning. And here we go back to Williamsburg. I, <laughs> I had to get my old friends and my family back to me, because they knew who I was. That, that is my advice to young people. Keep your old friends and your family near you, because you know the new people don't know who you are. And that's what really gets you going, because your face just lit up. I, I love it. Wow. I just love it. Listen, thank you so much for coming to Talk Soup. And we are going to Williamsburg, and we are going to do take a little drive down Next memory lane. Next time I get back to New York, I will get in touch with you, and we'll do that. Can I am holding you to it. You're thank great. you so much. You're you are. Great. Mwah.